Why do you love investing in rebels or people with messy pass? I think revenge is a really powerful motivator. You want people who are motivated and driven. And if someone feels like they've been wronged, there's a couple benefits. One, they're going to be incredibly driven to go solve the, you know, to go have a comeback story. Two is they're probably going to get passed over by other investors. And that's what you need. Like you need a contrarian opinion and you have to make sure that they, they didn't have a moral ethical failing. Or if they did, it was something that minor that can be forgiven. Yeah, it didn't really hurt other people. Maybe they broke some rule or something, but like innocent people were not harmed. And then in that case, if you can get really comfortable with that and they're really talented and other people aren't willing to invest in them, then that's like a perfect storm for finding a great founder. And to Parker Conrad. <laughs> I've got a list of people that I back that match that profile and, uh, and Parker's one of them. Yeah, I think Parker was wrongly scapegoated and run out of town at Zenefits. And he proved it by going to build Rippling into a business that's much bigger and better than Zenefits ever was in the exact same space. I'm sure that the investors who did that regret it. And that's fine. Parker doesn't care per se. He just wants to go execute.